Six Psychological Tests to Know If You Are in a Healthy Relationship Walter Trobisch, a German author wrote a book called I Married You. In the sixth chapter of that book Trobisch gave six tests of love. This is mind maps and here are those six tests that tell you if you are in a healthy relationship or not. 1. The Sharing Test. Do you feel like sharing with your partner? True love wants to share things. If you heard a piece of exciting news, do you first think of coming to share it with your partner? If you just got some money, do you readily think of how your partner can benefit from it? After God, who next do you remember if something interesting just came up in your life? If you do not readily want to share with your partner, chances are that your love is in doubt. 2. The Strength Test. Love is a great booster of strength and enthusiasm. Love causes inner satisfaction and joy which gives strength. If you are in love, but rather feel low, depressed, and deprived of energy, there is a big problem with your love. 3. The Respect Test. Does your partner command your respect, or is he or she in the same place with every other person in terms of gaining respect from you? Will you be proud to have your partner be the father or mother of your children? Will you be proud to share the rest of your life with him or her? If your answers to these questions are in the affirmative, then you have passed the respective test. Your partner should occupy a special status in your heart. 4. The Habit Test. People have different habits, some good and some bad. A habit may not necessarily be bad, but you find it disgusting in your partner. Of course, you have a choice to feel that way. But the test question is. Can you keep on tolerating those habits you find disgusting in your partner, assuming they do not change? If you cannot, better reconsider your position, because there is no guarantee that a habit will change over time. 5. The Quarrel Test. How easy do you find it to forgive your partner? How soon do you reconcile after a serious quarrel? Soonest, later, or after a very long time, or never at all? In true love, forgiveness and reconciliation are much easier. Do not be deceived to think that in true love you cannot quarrel at all. That is a fantasy. As long as two persons are together, they are bound to differ in opinion sometimes. This is the root of the quarrel. Often, when there is no misunderstanding at all, it signals one person is being deceived or playing the fool. But what is most important is the readiness to get back together after a quarrel. If you find it difficult to get back, your love may be in question. 6. The Time Test. Can your love survive the test of time? People naturally change over time, as they meet new people, challenges, situations, etc. Your partner may not be singing those love songs to you a few years from now. Now you love him because he is the quiet type, but he may become an extrovert in the next five years. Can you love this person, even when there have been remarkable changes from what you see at present? If you can, then you have an enduring, true love, which test did your love pass? Quarrel test or time test, tell us in the comments below. Here at Mind Maps, we are determined to make your life easier by unveiling the secrets of the mind. Make sure to subscribe Mind Maps. Thanks for watching.